All right, this is just going to be a quick little video on how to use this Lyle strap wrench tool to remove one of these big blue filter housings. Um, I installed this a couple of years ago. I have a video on it. I'll post it, uh, a link to that video at the end of this one. Uh, but if you're watching this video on how to remove these that are stuck, uh, I do use the petroleum jelly or food grade silicone up on the yellow ring. It still gets stuck. Uh, you'll see videos that say buy a couple of these and you know these things are pretty much junk these tweak all over the place you know okay so then I bought a, a metal one thinking well the plastic bending I'll get a metal one well this is so thin that it cuts into the plastic right so I didn't want to put a whole lot of tension on that tried one of these rubber band clamps here or these strap wrenches like this this works great for smaller jobs didn't work so great for this one um, so that brought me to this Lyle tool, okay? And I hadn't seen anything on specifically using it for this type of uh, filter housing, uh, but it does a great job, okay? One major advantage is that it uses a standard half inch ratchet. Just lost my light and caught it with my other hand. Okay, so you can see that's a standard half inch ratchet is what you're gonna use. Now let's get my light prop back up here. So you can see, okay? All right, so I'm going to use a sh fairly short extension, half-inch ratchet. You could use a breaker bar. Um, an added advantage of this is that it can catch on these ridges, okay? So the way this works is this tool puts pressure on its strap as it comes around and it's also catching this ridge so it actually works quite nicely then you can see I've got the the pipe I've used this in many many videos okay and now there's an advantage that over all the other wrenches that I showed you and there it goes okay just like that so if you're watching this video and you're struggling with your uh, filter housing you might want to invest in one of these Lyle strap wrenches. It's got a bunch of other uses as well. Uh, obviously, anything you're trying to remove uh, that you can't get a traditional wrench around, uh, it works really well, but especially for this particular use. So, uh, thanks for watching. You know, give me that thumbs up if you found this tip helpful. Uh, don't go out and buy five of those plastic wrenches. Just buy one of these things on eBay. I'll post to uh, I'll post the part number right here. Okay, it's Lyle. I know that. Uh, and then right after this, I'm going to post the installation video where I installed these filter housings. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, have fun. It's loose. I could actually take this off and kind of assemble it all, you know, not on the wall. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so here it is hanging on the wall. And you can see I had to, I had to put this ball valve kind of a weird way because of this uh, pipe leading to my water tank. But that's okay, as long as I can turn it off.